Namaste. Good morning. Namaste, Shamla Didi. Namaste, all. Welcome to the morning session. Ji, Namaste, Sunil Ji. Sabhi ko Namaste. Good morning and welcome. Namaste, Pooja Didi. So, Didi, I will briefly introduce you and then you can place your sharing within 20 minutes based on these indicators. Ji. So, Dr. Pooja Prabhani Didi, she is a former associate professor at Bharati Vidya Peets College of Pharmacy, Navi, Mumbai. She did her first introductory UHV workshop in September 2020, and she has been volunteering for sharing content, sharing values to faculty as well as student workshops in the online and face-to-face -face mode. And she is also uh, active, a very active volunteer in this video editing team. So, with this brief introduction, uh, I welcome Pooja Didi for sharing. In the morning session. Over to you, Didi. Thank you. Thank you, Sunil Bhaiya. Namaste, Sharmila Didi. Uh, namaste, Sabiko. So I'll just give my introduction again, which already Sunil Bhaiya has shared. I'm Dr. Pooja Firwani. Uh, currently, I'm not working. Uh, I'm not affiliated to any institute. I resigned uh, as an associate professor uh, around one year, four months back. I attended my first uh, introductory workshop in September 2020, following which I attended the refresher one part one in November 2020. The, I attended the first morning session uh, in January 2021. Uh, I uh, will speak about the shift in my understanding. So before UHV, I was leading my life as if I am the body. Though I knew there exists a soul, but somehow you know, I wasn't clear about what is its connection with our day-to-day -day life. But now the understanding about the self has eased my life. Previously, I was confused. I had many contradictory thoughts. And I could just not understand, uh, you know, how come I think one thing and then I think the opposite thing. So there was a lot of confusion because of that. Now I know and I try to sort on the basis of uh, my natural acceptance on the basis of coexistence, harmony and relationship. I have uh, observed that whenever I am irritated, you know, I am operating at the level of expectation. So I can see that something is happening which is not as per my taste. And therefore, I am getting irritated. When this particular event happens, I, I analyze what has happened and I compare whether it is useful or not. So I can see that that time I'm operating at the level of the, my thoughts. And when I am, you know, having this particular desire, say, for example, I want to be healthy and so I look at the various options and uh, then I select one and accordingly I work forward. So at that time, I can see that I'm operating at the level of desire and this feeling of self-regulation. So I can see myself uh, fluctuating amongst the various levels. Mainly, 
most of the time i should admit that um, you know i am in the b2 block whenever i am interacting with someone so i first try to look be aware of myself and try to look at my feelings but if i am not able to do that i at least try to look at the thoughts behind and i also try to think that how i can be helpful to the other or what would be my participation so i can see that when i'm operating in this manner i'm i'm at the level of contemplation but i'm not able to hold it for a very long time like when it goes in into um, action again i can see a lot of changes taking place i also realize that when when i um, have this want you know that the other should think good of me or at least uh, the other should not think bad of me so that means i am uh, dependent upon the other for my happiness i, I can see that um, mostly things are mixed like i want things as per my liking or health or whatever i think is a uh, profitable for me there are times i go for the contemplation so i realize that i this probably would uh, the change would take place slowly because i'm not yet able to see happiness as my innate nature and these are the steps which you know uh, trying to get happiness from uh, or from eating something or or from the appreciation of others so i realize that since we uh, it is our in um, our innate uh, need that you know we want to live with a will uh, Uh, to survive but with happiness so i realize that it's going to be in a slow manner because we all of a sudden we can't uh, live uh, leave whatever we thought would give me happiness so slowly uh, i can see that uh, the duration and frequency of these dependencies uh, is moving towards a uh, you know betterment then i can see that we can be fulfilling for each other and i can see that we uh, that everybody has something positive and each one of us has different sanskars and, and because of which we get triggered at different um, times previously my uh, way of thinking was you know what is not right needs to be done or what needs to be done but now i can also or i consciously try to see what has been done and uh, i try to see this for myself and for the other so because of that i am more at ease previously i saw nature as mixed that is sometimes i found nature to be very kind you know i can see all sunshine and rain and birds and trees and but at times i thought nature is cruel like i could see tsunami and storm and earthquakes now i realize that there are certain laws in nature and if we follow those laws the harmony which is there in nature it continues 
now i can see that the material world including the human body animal body plant body and physical things they continue to exist but only their form keeps on changing i can also see that human cells are connected to each other and we keep on benefiting from each other's thoughts and learnings so uh, right from uh, ancient times you know whether it is learning about things about taking care of the body or or this or the self development so like we all you know are benefiting from each other's thoughts and whatever we have understood so i can see that the continuity there and as we are we have been learning even from you know uh, the ancient sages and seers you know all the sadhus who were there so i can see that we uh, it's it's a it's a continuous uh, spectrum uh, like everything is there in existence and it is in the form of coexistence i am able to understand nature is submerged in space but still because of my sanskar i tend to look at the units more than rather looking at the space if i look at exercise 1 before the morning session my thoughts were related to mainly my behavior now i am trying to look at the feelings when i'm sitting alone and trying to look at the feelings i i can feel that feeling of calmness i look at the feelings during when something is going on like like maybe now but because i was talking about it i remember that i i need to see my feeling but many a times uh, the concentration is more about you know what uh, i need to speak the thoughts are towards that rather than towards the feeling i i need to attend the other uh, morning sessions more regularly so that i am able to uh, you know remember to observe my feelings before i interact you know and i try to look at the feelings at times i am not able to see the feeling so i deduce the feelings from my thoughts or from the sensation many times what i see is not so pleasant at those times i just try to observe what is happening within i i am not comfortable i can see that and i can see that these feelings are not naturally acceptable to me so i know that this is because i have assumed something therefore it is not naturally acceptable to me so i I try to look at what would be naturally acceptable to me that would be a feeling of relationship but at that moment i am not able to have that feeling of relationship it is more of a kind of thought that i need to be in relationship but i suppose even um, having that thought does uh, influence my behavior 
i can i i previously used to uh, react and uh, later uh, after these sessions i uh, observed that uh, one reaction uh, you know maybe somebody uh, said something and i got triggered so i reacted and because of that reaction the other got triggered and reacted and so on it would lead to a chain of reactions now i try though i am not always successful i try to uh, uh, stay quiet and not react i try to respond and then i can see that the chain uh, it stops like it doesn't escalate uh, further so i am uh, really grateful that uh, you know the things have become much more uh, uh, easier and uh, more calmer my interaction with others if i look at exercise 2 observing the body by the self i find that it is easier to look at the sensations during the act during um, the activity going on uh, sensations such as the heartbeat increasing you know or um, you know having uh, like it being very hot or i'm feeling hungry so i am able to observe the sensations uh, more easily maybe it's a practice of seeing grosser things uh, through so many years or um, through these ages so i know uh, the, when i'm feeling uncomfortable and i know this feeling of uncomfortableness is because i have get, given a meaning to the sensation and i can see that this meaning i have given to the sensation is based upon something which has been assumed and this is been has become my sanskar so what i need to do is i need to work on my sanskar like i would like to add that nowadays i am uh, maybe even if it is after an event it is more that you know i um, i got trig whenever i have got triggered or you know whenever i have spoken something i i realize uh, that it it is because of my sanskar rather than because of the other person saying whatever he or she has said so i can see that some somewhere deep within there is that particular hurt is there you know maybe uh, due to many associations in the past i have kept it and whenever um, whenever somebody uh, happens to say something which it gets triggered so um, and then i even tend to justify myself that uh, i am a very frank person but now i am uh, you know uh, coming to my senses that uh, it is uh, actually i have got uh, triggered because of the sanskars and i need to work on them the changes i have observed is uh, now uh, many a times in the family also we are 
talking more about uh, you know the natural acceptance and the competence of myself and the other uh, we are uh, more able to uh, see that whatever we are doing we are doing for our happiness and uh, so is the other person so other person has also assumed something will make him or her happy and is doing accordingly so they have to have their own sanskars like i have so i can see that um, these sessions and the and also you know because of the environment around me i am more at ease my relationship with with those whom with i interact has become more meaningful and it has a uh, kind of uh, given a uh, more joy now the interactions are more joyful because i feel now slowly i am looking at the person more rather than you know talking about uh, uh, the things outside or the things which i want so i have been involved in uh, uh, volunteering in a uh, in a, a number of things over the uh, over the years Uh, right now i am involved in sharing the contents and uh, in video editing so i uh, i would like to thank ganesh bhaiya sharmila didi kumar bhaiya umesh bhaiya and each and every member of the uhb family i'm grateful to the existence and i feel that i'm somehow blessed to get associated with the entire team of uhv so thank you so much and thank you so much for contributing for my self development thank you now we go to shamla didi this uh, comments and sharing comments and remarks regarding pooja didi is sharing shamla didi namaste over to you ji namaste pooja ji namaste didi as always it is nice to hear you and very honest and sincere um sort of sharing of your explorations and what you are able to see um i mean we have communicated at various other times and i can see that shift is slowly happening um but i think that you have the time you have the inclination to make it go deeper so perhaps you know i would suggest maybe you can spend like half an hour every morning if you're not doing it already mm. just isolatedly sit and observe your feeling um that shift once it happens about being able to observe the calmness and the happiness with the right feeling um once that comes in the living then it makes all the difference some changes have happened which you have mentioned also but i think now it is time for you to delve a little deeper into this content especially exercise 1 and 2 mm. um so maybe in the next round um we can have you exploring again and you know discussing your doubts your questions in the morning session 
of course um the changes that have happened i know you didn't mention um, say with your son or you know other changes that you have mentioned at other times in your behavior that speaks a lot that speaks volumes for the amount of exploration that is going on within you and how you are able to bring some of it in your behavior like i said um i think that um you are ready to go a little further so you can um, see what happens is sometimes we uh sort of um explore we get some results and then we get a little laid back uh then there seems to be like a lull where you are not really moving forward anymore and then there may be again some you know more reactions or something that brings your attention back to the fact that we have become a little laid back then we start again so this kind of thing keeps happening sometimes so um i would like you to proactively take charge and do this more in depth and i'm sure that the results will also follow so far as your volunteering goes of course um, we are aware that you are doing a lot of volunteering and that's very nice um the video editing whether it be that or the taking the content because that as you have also shared many times you know the questions that people put forward uh, when you have to give answers then you really need to know the content so this constant churning of the content makes lot of difference and i can see that shift is happening as compared to earlier so all the very best to you best wishes yeah. thank you uh, sharmila didi it is because of you and uh, other co explorers that whatever little uh, bit my life has eased out and and what you're saying is very true that uh, it goes with uh, lots of ups and downs at times i am more into it than at times i do become laid back so and i also realize this is because um, i become more comfortable uh, uh, so i think i need to uh, expose more thank you so much didi and thank you all co explorers